All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer World. I don't know, um, I don't know exactly how, but I went back investigating and I found the room key to this. I don't know where, I just <laughs> found, I just came back and must have picked it up somewhere. So let's see what this trail ends at. Oh my God. Okay. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis confirms this is Evan O'Connell. Analysis also confirms he is dead. Oh, I can tell that. Uh, what was the cause of death? No kidding. The man had a giant slug crawling on him. Per additional study of this body's skeletal structure, the cause of death was head trauma. Head trauma? Uh... Are you, are you telling me he wasn't killed by the giant murder slugs? That is correct. Evan was not killed by Eridanium Gigasius. However, Eridanium Gigasius do appear to be responsible for the early decomposition of this body's surface tissue. So, okay. The man didn't die of slugs, got it. Further analysis indicates Evan's fatal injuries were sustained from blunt force trauma to the back of the skull and his head collided with the ground. Check for signs uh, Evan was drunk. Check for evidence of foul play. Took a bad fall, okay. Was it an accident? There are traces of blood on Evan's hands, Inspector. Uh, sounds like Evan might have been doing some bra- Analysis concludes, bra this blood is human, type A. Medical records indicate Evan O'Connell's blood is type O. Oh, I see. Medical records indicate Amelia Stilwell's blood is indeed type A. Great work, Inspector. I think it's time we talked with Miss Stilwell. I'm doing a great job at this whole Inspector thing. Oh, uh... Oh, can it, you obnoxious me <laughs> Mechanical bootlicker, holy shit! If you wish to question Amelia Stilwell, Slug's scheduling records indicate that she is presently on duty at the pilot house checkpoint. Okay. Might as well take the stuff. Do you have anything on them? No. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go see. It hey, I saw that. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you think you're Shut doing? Up. Go away. Carry on. Okay, so I did actually look. This is a different, a different save, like a different character save. So it's technically not the same character from the game that we played. Welcome. But eh, screw it. How many murder investigations are we going to do during this whole DLC? I mean, we've already got one main one. We're about to solve a second one. What the fuck? Okay, where are we heading? And I bet you believe how... Hope you've been enjoying your stay. Okay, so they're in here. Hello, Miss Vargas. Inspector, you find my missing man? I did, he's dead. Shit, that's fucking inconvenient. What happened? Unfortunate accident fell and hit his head wrong uh, head trauma from the fall from a fall, but I think there's more to it than that. Well shit. I'm listening. I think foul play is involved. The man was covered with slugs. What do you mean? If you didn't find evidence, you can tell your gut to shove it. Well I without did. proof, I have to consider Evan's death an accident. 
because frankly, I don't have time to consider it anything else. Thanks for chasing Evan down and saving me some leg work. Of course, now I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. A new day, a new pain in my ass. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there were two different markers? Holy shit. I didn't notice that. Oh, well. Let's finally go investigate the orchards. Quite the damn run. Oh, okay. I don't know why it keeps doing it. You know what? Not e not even. I'm just gonna climb down. Keep him quiet, Captain. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. I can't tell if she's happy or in serious pain. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. Uh. Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Oh, God. Don't you dare, or I'll cut something off you. Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger, even if it means hurting you. Oh, my God. Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. It's. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. It's a mind control parasite. I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad, so I don't worry about it. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Can... Oh, God. I don't even really want to look at her. No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Birdie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my! Birdie, a murderer? Well, everyone has their flaws. I'll be sure not to bring it up on our first date. Um. What the fuck? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. What are my options? Rizzo's really pushes in a hard sell, huh? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber, and the Golden Ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. Which kind would you like? You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? Sure. That's great. Thank you so much. What? what? Our oh. alcohol stocks are... Can I... Can I help you? Or... Or kill you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe I could hold up my end if your people weren't sabotaging my operations. Sorry, can't talk. We're busy having a vi- And if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough, you had to make it personal. You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker too? The nerve. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who was this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this, lass. I think it's mightily more likely that she's under your payroll. You'd have burned down what you haven't already. Not under anyone's pay payroll, which is... Not to say I can't be. Go about, about your business. Things have a tendency to break around me, but I don't know about any sabotage. <laughs> I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some... trouble here of late. Name's Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway, and I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of customer service rep. Because it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Uh, yeah. Uh, overheard you mention sabotage. Um, all these are good. Yeah, I saw her. Tried to flag her down for an autograph, but to no avail. Ran right by me. No idea where she was heading. Seemed like she had a lot on her mind. She was running? Yeah. Just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just gonna sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Really? Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about sublight to make himself feel better. 
Shame he skipped where Rizzo's was short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. I can figure out what's really going on. What sort of sabotage has there been? Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. Oof. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened, most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. Uh, you mentioned an increase in worker accidents. It's the strangest thing. Like everyone forgot their 10-minute workplace safety seminars. That's twice as long as the next leading brand. Our people should be safety experts. But I've seen folks step on open electrical wires, drop pallets on each other. One damn fool even blundered into a wasp keto hive. Even as he died, he looked fairly pleased. Oh, God, no, it's the parasites. Thank the law, some good news. You hear that, lap dog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. Alright, um... I don't think I've ever seen an orchard before. I mean, other... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, footprints. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. Sounds good. Examine the footprints. Uh, the spacing between each foot step is short. The imprint uh, of the dirt deep. As if to determine, it would appear she was in a hurry. Okay. Do you find anything? Uh, Helen was coming through here in a hurry. Had saltuna for breakfast last week. Uh, pretty obvious if you know what you're looking for. Wonder what she was after. Is this, uh... There we go. Is this just... What are these? Just crates? Okay. Well, that's an explosive... Oh. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Hello, footprints. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay. Hello? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Wait. It's gotta be closer if it's picking up now. Ah! <laughs> Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, here they come! <laughs> oh god, I do not like this. Real funny. Giving me the chuckles you are! Really 
really don't like that. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh dear god, those things. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. It was around here so ah. More Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Interesting. Results would be gazing this way. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I spent 90 bits on that. Uh so let's let's hit this first, whatever this is. Or is that underground? Can't do that at all. Although this, let's try. Cause let's see, what is hacking? What is hacking under again? Ah, uh, you know, science weapons, shock, workbench. Ah. The Rizzo's in turn. What is that? That's fried thing. Dead saplings. Intel. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, what's this? Timeline discrepancy detect- Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. So she's definitely been through here. Congratulations, <laughs> Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to <laughs> the deceased here, actress known as Halcyon Helen. Hey, coming! Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> There we go, that's how that goes. Come on. Oh no. Move left. Oh, this is insane. Okay, that was intense. That's the dead saplings. Fried console. Enter. Speak to the intern first. Wait, have we been through here already? I think we have. Lana Summers. Hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to say the slogan. Okay, you can do this, Anna. <clears throat> here goes. It doesn't matter if you're you or me. We're all part of the Rizzo's family. How was that? I thought that was, uh... A real good effort. Keep at it. 
a lie. It was completely splendid. No jest. Well, that's a wager I sure would have lost. Guess even a busted spectrometer can be right if you hold it to the light, huh? I'm sure you've guessed it, but I'm not the best at remembering slogans. And when I can't remember them, I tend to just make them up. But I guess that's why I'm just an intern and not a full-timer. At least, not yet. Right, so, uh, you haven't been causing any trouble in the orchards, have you? Don't think I've met an intern before. Uh, you see any sign of be beleaguered act of a beleaguered actor running around? It's not so different from being a regular worker, just with less pay and less respect. Oh, it's also more dangerous than traditional employment. You don't have the experience to back up your work yet, but being fired isn't any less threatening. Work-wise, I do a bit of everything. The orchards have been short-staffed as long as I've been working here. So if there's an odd job around, it usually gets passed to me. Right. How'd you get your position? Take it you don't intend to stay an intern. Why intern if it's riskier than typical employment? Much higher chance of promotion. If I can tough it out here without getting axed, I can skip the five plus years of customer service I'd normally have to deal with. I can prove my merit here and move up in the world. And the sooner I do that, the sooner I can set to improving things for everyone else. That's a good idea. Helping folks is dangerous. The door board doesn't like people who mess with their status quo. Assuming nobody exploits your weaknesses to push you into unemployment. Mother did mention that from time to time, but she always kept me far away from her work. Who could complain about happier workers and higher profit gains? Uh, how'd you get your position? Take it you didn't... Yeah, she, of course she doesn't. Laws, you've got a sixth sense for finding the most embarrassing question, huh? My mother is the Rizzo's assistant vice president of flavor testing. She set me up with this position. Mostly to keep me from troubling her work, I think. Consequently, I don't always feel like I deserve to be here. All the more reason to work harder, I say. It's an internship. You're basically a slave. Just let it go. Much as I love delivering coffee and medical attention, not quite, no. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I sometimes feel that our workers could be treated a little better. Maybe only get electrocuted awake every other day? Excuse me? So I'm shooting for administration in Rizzo's. Maybe even the board itself. Best way to evoke change is from the inside, I think. Oh, well, yeah. Happy to enlighten you on the fascinating world of internships. Other Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case, I probably won't forget a second time. Uh... What? No, that's ridiculous. I can't tell you I've never made any mistakes, but it'd be pretty hard to keep my job if I were trying to break everything. Though there was the time I tried to fix a broken hinge on one of our mosquito hives and released a swarm. Chased me around the orchards three times before I managed to get help. Oh my god. Uh, you were chased by wasps. What's the deal with those? Uh, remind me how this is an example of you not screwing up. Well, they're really mean, for one thing. Wasquitoes don't stop stinging you when you die. They keep going for 10 or 15 minutes after. Don't worry, though. Wasquitoes are typically only about when living folks aren't in the orchards. Okay, so what happens if they get out during visiting hours? Uh, why let the bugs out at all seems like uh, better to just exterminate them no 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 the mosquitoes are incredibly helpful for the orchards they almost never get out either and when they do it's just a matter of recalling them from hive control but this is all a departure from what I wanted to say I've been trying to help the orchards not harm them hold a moment you haven't found anything have you Well, yes. The orchards are becoming overrun with pests. Usually, we give workers handguns and tell them to go to town, which results in many injured workers and a few dead sprats. Our exterminator Automax only kill mosquitoes, and even then, only if an exec somehow ended up in the orchards during a pollinization cycle. So I decided to do some reprogramming. The reprogramming was easy until I locked myself out of the terminal. Then, when I was running away from the bots, I dropped the terminal access card somewhere in the orchards. 
I see. The bots were shooting anything larger than a wasp mosquito. Must have not have recalibrated the targets. Believe me, I know that now. Guess I did sort of mess that one up. But there's nothing to come clean about. I've just been doing my best out here. Oh yes, I thought I saw someone who looked self-important enough to be her by the conservatory some time ago. Not to speak ill of the dead. I simply never liked the way she stole the limelight from the true star. Burbage 3001. Right, uh, you're a Burbage fan? What about Spencer Woolrich? I certainly am. That aerodynamic chassis, how the light glints off his rotund head, the way he enunciates, cry havoc and let loose the cadence of war. Excuse me, I got a little lightheaded there. Nobody does Shakespeare like Burbage. What were we talking about? Is Burbage a robot? Who? Never mind. I is she attracted to a robot? I suppose so. I also suppose Helen won't be stealing the limelight ever again. Okay, well... This just keeps getting weirder and creepier. Wait, hold on a second. Was she there the entire time? My lord. Wait, what else is on the, uh... Wait, what do I have to talk to her about? Maybe we should fix the other issues first and then come back to her? console itself? This console is 95% non-functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading console non-functional. Cause <laughs> of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. T I'm not gonna taste it. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35. Number 49, number 240, number 322, number 314, okay, and many, I get it. many, many others. You've got to be doing this just to mess with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, purple berry and a bunch of tropical flavors all mixed in. saplings that's the intern okay so let's go take a look at the saplings and then we'll come back to the intern oh my god that thing's cute You know, part when I when I first saw the uh, the host thing, I never really anticipated it meant parasites. But you know, analysis: this discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. Huh. A discrepancy amplifier. Uh, where were the canisters? Where are these can canisters usually kept? 
Chemical makeup of substance. 50% water. 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Excuse me. These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards. Except for this one, which can be found here. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to that intern again. Oh my god. It could be the the uh the spacer's choice guy over there, but he only sabotages the pool. And he would have no reason to lie to us if he already told us where he was from. Back again, eh? I knew you couldn't resist my charms for long. Let me know if there's anything I can help you. Yeah. Uh Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. I doubt it. I've used that exact same line. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Uh, did you dump the drink before or after you moved the console panel cover? How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and make it faster. Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer. It's in the name. It should kill only weeds. That really seems like it's more on product design than on me. Law's alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards. But with all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. There's no harm in trying to make things better. I'll talk to your boss. Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't that enable you to screw up even more? Uh, what, so you can burn down the rest of the orchards? No chance. Wow, thank you so, so much. You do this for me and I'll make sure to do whatever I can to make things better. I'm real proud of you, Captain. I mean, it, it sounds like she's just clumsy as fuck. To be honest. And if that's the truth, which she seems kind of naive, so it probably is the truth. I don't think there's any real reason to put her out of it. Plus, fuck corporate. Fuck corporate. <laughs> That's all I ever have to say is fuck corporate. You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? I've completed the investigation, still looking. Uh, the more times you ask me that, the slower I'm going to work. All right, let's hear the details. Uh, drink was spilled over the process, shorting it out. A herbicide was uh, mixed into the fertilizer, which ended up killing the saplings. Took care of the... Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? No. Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspkitos? You're worried slug is trying to, uh, to mess with your livelihood? I mean, I guess they were really just trying to kill everything. <laughs> uh... Reckon they've got something in common with the wasp Ketos, then. Probably why Slug just set the mechanicals to attack everything. Eventually, they'd kill our pollinizers. In your delusional fantasy, the wasp Ketos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Uh, is there a way to manually initiate the poll uh, pollinization cycle? Maybe Slug found another way to get at the Lost Mosquitoes. Seems like a stretch Hathaway. 
Well, yes, it's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non-Rizzo's personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Ha! New slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. He said he was just gonna burn it. A drink? I ain't ever heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. No, no, no. I'll deal with her later. She didn't do it on purpose, right like now, I just said. Right now, of the orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal, but at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is... agitating. Uh, Rizzo's will, uh, have bits to spare after the browning unva brown unveiling could pay then, with interest. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. Your intern confessed to being uh, being inept. She honestly seemed like she was just wanted to help. Uh, no, we're not doing that. Uh, I think you should just let her keep doing what she's been doing. Ha! Good one. Your dead serious tone really sold the joke. Oh. Wait a second. I get it. You've gone nuts. Why in the void damned black heart of Eridanos would I ever do that? Uh, okay. Fuck. She sure does. And that's exactly why I'm gonna fire her. Thanks for your help getting to the bottom of things. Fuck! Here's your money. With a little extra for securing the extra evidence. Now, if you'll excuse Well, at least I tried. At least I tried. Okay. Wait, is... Yeah, follow Helen's trail. Okay. Starline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Yep, so she did go this way. And she, we spotted some, oh, let's, uh, we spotted some footprints over this way as well, if I remember right. Right? Hello. Timeline discrepant. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. 
Okay, so she might have been headed that way, but I did see something else. Timeline disturbance be detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay, so in here? not come this way or did she not come in here I guess Back on the path, because we saw her her trail head this way. Drunk. These things are drunk. Oh my god. Look at oh no, it's not looking for the telescope. Okay. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay, the shaft, uh, the toss ball shaft has been bent and cracked, exceeding toss ball regulation requirements. Bits of wicker detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. Looks as if somebody used a toss ball stick to completely obliterate the picnic table. Okay. The only members of a toss ball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the toss ball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. That's how breakups go some of the time. Or all of the time, for some of us. R, R, and D, D. Okay. We got more to investigate. What's this? A plasma rifle. What? Okay, going to those labs. Can I fast travel back there? Where? Where is that? Where am I? <laughs> Okay. So we're this Somebody one. Take the best shot, oh my god. Oh my god.
Wait, where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> Giving me the chuckles, you are. That is, uh... Those things are still unsettling. Very unsettling. Miss Helen was at this lab, too. We're close to finding something. I can feel it. Me too. Okay, so this is much larger than I thought it would be, but when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to uh, look through these this R&D lab and see what evidence we can find on Helen. So I thank you so much for watching. Uh, and until then, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Thank you.